Hello makers, so this is the first Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous release for 2024. As far as a whole set um, of stamps go, I know that we had Love Notes and then we had Mr. Rabbit as single stamp releases, but this is the first actual release of several stamp sets and then also the stencils as well. So I am going to just start making. I have sketched out a couple of pages worth of um, some ideas and some things like that. So we'll see where I go with this, but I am not going to tell you which ones I'm going to use. Just know that the next few card tutorials, I guess, um, that I'm going to make, I think I'll just take myself making them and using, I'll be using the stamps from the release, um, all five. So we have the curiosity shop, we have abstract florals with a few sentiments. We have this forgotten garden. We have, this is my favorite crochet trims. And these really bold paint by number. And then as I showed you all of the stencils. So I will be using the stencils and I'll be using the stamps from this release. And I'm gonna try and stick with mostly just these. I may add in a few uh, older stamp sets here and there on a card. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to stick with just these. So let's go ahead and get making and see what card I end up with. I decided to use the Curiosity Shop stamp set and I am stamping the clover in Rustic Wilderness Distress Archival Ink on a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock. And I'm just kind of stamping it in all different directions all over this A2 sized card front and then I dried it to make sure the archival ink was dry before I took a blending tool and some shabby shutters distress ink and I just colored in the whole background dried that and now I have a little bit of peeled paint distress ink and I am using my water brush and coloring in all of those clovers so that they are all a little bit darker than that background, but not quite the same green as the Rustic Wilderness. The Rustic Wilderness is a little bit darker, so it allows the detail to show through from the stamp, but it's colored in. And so I just did this very quickly. So I took another piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock and the Paint by Number set. And again, with Distress Archival Ink and Rustic Wilderness, I stamped the 17, and now I am covering it with Distress Embossing Glaze, and I'm just brushing off some little excess that got on there, and I am heating it with my heat tool and getting it all nice and glossy. I set it aside to cool, and in the meantime, I am putting my card front, which I have cut down by a quarter of an inch on each side, onto a gold mat that is cut down an eighth of an inch on each side from an A2 size, and then that's going to go on that black card stock um, card base in the top left-hand corner. And now I'm going to fussy cut out my paint by number 17 because I want to mat it in gold also. Now Simon Says Stamp does have a set of dies that will do this fussy cutting for you and they're very convenient. I have some in order, but they weren't available when I was making this card. And if you decide not to order them, you can see that fussy cutting them is just, um, you know, very quick and very simple. So I'm attaching them to the gold cardstock so that I can cut out the mat also by hand in a few minutes. And while those are drying, I decided that I wanted to sew around the mat and the card front. So I just showed you that. I sewed around it in gold thread. And now I am quickly fussy cutting the gold mat from around each of the numbers. And whether you get the dies or not, if you decide to mat them once you have uh, cut them out with the dies, you will have to fussy cut. Um, there's no way around it. But again, it just takes a few uh, minutes and you're, you are done. So I am auditioning where I want that. And then I decided I wanted my sentiment to be lucky day. So I stamped that onto a piece of Distress watercolor cardstock with black ink archival and I trimmed it down and add a little bit more of that shabby shutters green 
to it so that it would kind of blend with the background. I'm then going to double mat it. So I'm putting on a small piece of black craft stock and trimming it with just my scissors and then another piece of the gold craft stock. And then I will trim that with my scissors. And now I'm going to put my card front onto the black craft stock card base. And you can see there's just that tiniest little bit of an eighth inch reveal. I'm attaching my letters onto the front and those are just going straight flat onto the front. I didn't raise them up or put foam dots or anything like that behind them. I'm just putting them on with some distressed collage medium, nice and flat. However, my sentiment, I did want it popped up. So you'll see that I put a little piece of chipboard behind it and I've attached it with collage medium and now I'm going to go ahead and attach that with collage medium to the middle part of my number 17 as kind of a sentiment and a focal point. And here's the finished out of season St. Patrick's Day card. So thanks for bearing with me through this. Um, if you know anything about me or have been following me for long, you know that I was in the midst of making a whole bunch of St. Patrick's Day cards to send out instead of Christmas cards this year. Unfortunately, I got very sick in the middle of March and uh, actually ended up in the hospital for a night. Everything's okay. I am fine now and glad we found out all that was wrong, but that led to me not being able to send out any of my St. Patrick's Day cards. So I decided this year, anytime I get the chance, I'm going to make one and add it to my pile to send out for next year. So that's what's going on here. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about this card. I obviously used two stamp sets, the Paint by Number and the Curiosity Shop. And in pairing them together, a couple of the details I want to point out. First of all, I love the metallic stitching around the edge with that gold thread. I think that just kind of pulls everything together with the gold mat and then the gold around the 17 and also the sentiment. Really love the shine that the embossing glaze gives to the number and the texture, a little bit of different texture that it adds and those clovers in the background. I just think it pulled together and it looks like my uh, sketch. Uh, so I'm always happy when a card turns out uh, the way that I kind of imagine it. Now I wanted to point out that although this is St. Patrick's Day themed, that you could change up the background and change up your numbers and do really any season that you wanted. You could uh, stamp from love notes, hearts all over the background, and then use the numbers one and four for uh, Valentine's Day. You could use stars all over the background and then a four for Fourth of July. The hat from Curiosity Shop for like Uncle Sam or something like that. You could use the hat and the one for New Year's. You could use a, you know, from other stamp sets, you could use pumpkins and 31 for um, Halloween or Christmas, you know, and 25. So, so many options for this design that don't have to be St. Patrick's Day. So I just wanted to point that out because I, I know that sometimes when you see a card, uh, I know I do, uh, I, I don't necessarily think of, oh, I could use that design for something else. Uh, I, I get stuck in the idea of what the designer used it for. And so I just wanted to you know, throw those ideas out there for those who aren't necessarily into St. Patrick's Day, but this design could work for something else. So I hope that was encouraging. Well, as always, I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you have any um, questions or anything, as you know, just leave it in the comments for this tutorial or on my blog at playswellwithpaper.blogspot.com. And also, uh, if you are looking for any of these products and you haven't ordered them yet, I do have them linked in the description for this video, as well as on my blog. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this turned out being a really quick video and a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I really had fun making this card and adding another card to my St. Patrick's Day pile for next year. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate the support and I want to wish you a very creative day.